While surveying the site of some ancient ruins, two young archaeologists, Derek and Margot, and their nomad friend, Moki, find themselves trapped and sinking in a whirling pool of sand. And when the dust settles, they stare up in awe at a vast chamber filled with giant relics and artifacts from another civilization. And there, at the far end of the cavern, a door with a strange inscription. All who enter these portals pass through time. I heard it. Relax. Probably just crickets. That is no cricket. Just keep moving. That is a lion. And I bet he's got bears with him and snakes and, and crocodiles and... There's a town just ahead. We'll be safe there. Who goes there? Uh, we're looking for a safe place to spend the night. Lions are chasing us. Hundreds of them. Sorry. This gate stays shut. Yeah. Because we got a lion cornered inside. A no-good Israelite named Samson. We've been trying to catch him for years. Any minute now. So the gate stays closed. On your way. Here he comes. Hear that? He doesn't stand a chance. Yeah. That's the end of Samson. Whoa! Ah! Oh! oh, about the gate. Never mind. Don't bother opening it. We won't be going into the city. Good morning. We would have knocked, but <laughs> the door was open anyway. Would you like some breakfast? Where did you three come from? We followed you from the city last night. Oh, those murderous Philistines. They'll do anything to destroy me. What's with the Philistines anyway? They have taken over all of Israel, murdering innocent families, destroying our land. You sure destroyed them last night. I am the only Israelite who still defies their arrogant rule. With your strength, maybe there's still hope. Of course there is. But enough. I'm on my way. Come with me if you wish. Well, what about the gate? I'll leave it here on the hilltop, where all can see it. Perhaps it will remind my people that we must never give up our fight for freedom. Samson's coming! Samson's coming! you a friend of samson's we polished off some philistines last night so you're a fighter huh well let's see how good you are <laughs> you're really asking for trouble kid all i have to say to my big buddy here is no retreat we're all pleased to see you again good to see you too but i'm leaving for my cave in etam oh you mustn't go there that's the first place the philistines will look so let them find me they'll wish they hadn't Oh, there you are. <laughs> I thought I lost you. Come on, I'll show you a great view from the roof. Then we'll go to the cave, all right? Great. Sounds good. He's something, isn't he? I've never seen anyone so strong. Nor so foolhardy. He has not the slightest fear of anything, man or beast. They still tell the story of the time he went to Timra to visit a girl. The path goes through some of the wildest country around. 
Samson's mind was only on his lady friend, and he never noticed the big lion that was following. Not until the very moment the beast leapt upon any other man would have been dead in an instant. But not Samson. He ripped that lion apart. He dismembered him like a chicken. He's absolutely unstoppable, isn't he? Not quite. There is one manner in which all his strength would disappear completely. I pray every day his enemies do not discover it. What does he mean by that? I can't imagine Samson losing his strength. Isn't this great? Fresh spring water, cool breezes, plenty of game. What else could you ask for? Ah, uh, how about a soft bed? Uh, but the priest said the Philistines will know you're here. He worries too much. But he has his reasons, I suppose. The Philistines are well organized, while our tribes of Israel are divided under many weak leaders. But someday... Samson! Greetings, Zebel. Come meet my friends. Oh, why did you come here? Why? Didn't you see the Philistines who have come after you? Oh, you only bring us trouble. Don't you realize they rule us? They do not! You are men of Judah, Israelites like me. The Philistines must not rule the land. But they do. We are weak. Why do you antagonize them? I only did to them what they did to me. Enough of this. It is not your problem. I will go out and confront them myself. But this time it is our problem. They have said they will kill us and our families. Three thousand people. Uh, unless... Unless what? Unless we deliver you to them, tied up, beyond escape. You can't let us perish. You can't! They have chosen a foul way to finally destroy me. You give me no choice. All right, find me. But promise you will not kill me. Oh, I promise, I promise. We'll go back and tell the priest. Perhaps he can organize a rescue. A rescue by them? <laughs> they are all weaklings. We've got to try to help him. Hurry up, he's our pal. We're coming. Very well, you may go. Ah, the mighty Samson. Even your own people have betrayed you. They are not all that way. I'm sure. We'll take you to Gaza so all the people can enjoy your execution. We're almost there. I just hope we get there in time. I hope they can do something. Oh, I hope he battles those Philistines. We shall have no more trouble with the Israelites, for by destroying Samson, we destroy the last hope of their shattered nation. Ha! They are truly finished now, and their false god with them. What are you waiting for? He can't do anything with just that old donkey's jawbone. Take him! Get the priest! Hurry! What is it? It's Samson. Samson? What about Samson? Samson is... Samson is... Someone call me! How did you get loose? What happened? With a donkey's jawbone, I have slain a thousand Philistines. Come, this calls for celebration. If there is something that'll cause him to lose his strength, the Philistines sure don't know what it is. Not yet. Pray they never will know. Why do we have to bother washing clothes? They only get dirty again. Who'd like to go on a little trip with me? Where to? The Sorek Valley. You've never seen anything so beautiful. Sounds great. Let's go. Ow! Oh. You okay? Ah, twisted my ankle. Oh, it's my fault, Daddy. Ow! We won't be able to go with you. Hey, you two can go. I'll be all right. Are you sure? No problem. Go on, get out of here. I can use the rest. We'll just be gone a couple of days. If you need anything, the priest will take care of you. Oh, Derek, since you'll be resting, would you mind touching up my robe a little with a hot iron? I'll touch you up a little if you don't get out of here. Delilah! 
Samson! What a pleasant surprise! I've brought two friends, Margot and Moki. You're more than welcome. We've got plenty of room. Well, come on in. The door's open. And this one, you don't have to tear off its hinges. Make yourselves comfortable. I'll be right back. I'll see if I can find us a little refreshment. Boy, oh boy, Samson sure knows how to pick them. That Delilah's really a looker, isn't she? Well, isn't she? Oh, yes. But there's something about all this that doesn't seem right. Now, we know we can't capture Samson by force. No man can match his strength. And I have this little memento to prove it. So we must overpower him another way. We must find the source of his strength and destroy it with your very able assistance. I will be no partner to murder. And nor we. We have no intent to kill him, none at all. We wish merely to capture him as an object lesson. No, no, my dear, we want him very much alive. But Samson is an old and very dear friend. Of course, but tell me, does this very dear friend bring you gifts worthy of you? Does he bring you precious gems, silks, perfumes? Well, no, but... This can. Shekels can be even dearer friends, especially when there are many, many of them. No, I couldn't possibly. How many? Eleven hundred. Make the Israelite tell you his secret, and you'll get eleven hundred <laughs> from each of us. <laughs> yes, eleven hundred from each of us. With Miriam's help, your ankle should be better soon. Rest it one more day. Thank you. Maybe I can go to Sorek tomorrow to join Samson. Samson is in Sorek? With Delilah? The deceitful one! Delilah? The only one who has power over him. You mean she can't be trusted? Never. No man could ever pry his secret from him, but a beautiful woman? I have a terrible premonition. You must get him to leave immediately. Your two young friends are resting. The long walk here tired them. That wine made me sleepy, too. Samson, please tell me something. Uh, of course I love you. And I love you. But there's another question in my mind. The answer is yes, you're the only woman for me. It's something else. You're so wonderfully strong. Are there any bindings you could not escape from? I'm just curious. Well, strangely enough, if I were bound with seven green willow switches, I'd be helpless. You heard. Get me seven green willow switches, and hurry! Samson, awake! The Philistines are upon you! <gasps> Where are they? You lied to me! You... you... Delilah's town lies in that valley. Just keep on the road between the mountains. I'll leave first thing in the morning. These tapestries are beautiful. Pure silk, from the days when we Israelites were a strong nation of traders and ruled our own destiny. With leaders like Samson, we may one day be free again. But you said he had a weakness. It's an unusual story. Years ago, a man named Manoah had a wife who was sterile. She was a fine woman who dearly loved all children, even though, sadly, she could have none of her own. Then one day, an angel of the Lord appeared to her and told her she was finally to have a child, a son. And furthermore, he was to be a Nazarite, set apart as God's own from birth. And because of this, a solemn promise must be kept by her son, that in all his life, no razor would ever be used on the hair of his head. It was so agreed, and to their great joy, a son was born to her, and they named him Samson. And Samson's hair has never been cut? If it is ever cut, his promise to the Lord would then be broken, and all his wondrous strength would disappear. I'm sorry I teased you this afternoon. 
It just didn't seem that important. If you truly loved me, you'd share the secret of your strength with me. The secret of his strength? I don't like this. Me neither. But I made a promise. <sighs> All right, I'll tell you. And will you swear before Dagon that this time it will be the truth? I will have nothing to do with your pagan idol. I am a Nazarite, a man of God. All right, but tell me. Tell this to no man, but all my strength would leave me if anyone would. What did he whisper? I don't know, but now I'm really worried. Be ready. He told me his strength would leave me if you were bound with new ropes. I have done so. He is helpless. Samson, awake! The Philistines are upon you! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, Samson! Why do you mock me? Why do you make a fool of me? Why do you lie to me? Give Samson this ring. Then he'll know how serious I regard his danger. Good morning. We've come to collect our taxes. With your permission, of course. You collected them last month. This is an outrage. Samson will wreak his revenge against you. <laughs> you and your Samson. He is but one man. We will pay no more taxes to you and your men. Get back inside. Nobody leaves this town until they pay their taxes. Nobody! I shall pray for Samson's safe return. I'm afraid your holy prayers will change nothing. I fear for Samson's life. We must get a warning to him. But how? There may be a way. Could I use some of this silk? Of course, but... I'll need someone to sew it. Miriam can do that. But a silk garment won't... And some of those willow branches from the courtyard. You have a plan. Anything else you need? One more thing. Pray for wind. With it, I will get to Samson. Good morning, Delilah. Why don't we get a boat? Go out on the river. Take the others. I'll stay here. I came here to be with you. Why? Why spend time with someone you don't trust? But you know how I feel about you, Delilah. That's just the problem. I don't. Hey, good news! Delilah's talking to him today. She's probably still trying to get him to tell her the secret of his strength. I just don't understand why that doesn't make him suspicious. Or maybe we're worrying too much. Samson's pretty smart. He's also in love. Can't you be both? Let's have a pleasant day together, like we used to. Then if by tonight you still aren't sure of my feelings, I'll tell you the secret. How's that? You promise you'll tell me tonight? I'll even give you a hint now in advance. It has something to do with my hair. Your hair? But I'm really hoping that by tonight you'll forget the whole matter. Oh, I probably will. Where are you going, priest? Just back into the temple. Make sure you stay there. Do I understand you right? You intend to fly off the roof with that? Not exactly fly. It'll be closer to gliding, like a kite. I'll float right over those Philistines. Over the Philistines? Is it possible? We'll find out tomorrow. Let us hope that Samson can keep his secret from Delilah. So the secret of your strength is with your hair. Soon the silver pieces will be mine. Stand ready. First, I must do as he explained and weave seven braids of his hair into the cloth on my loom. Samson, awake! The Philistines are upon you! You lied to me again. For the third time, you have mocked me. Why? Because I don't think this should be important between us. Then nothing is important between us. If you really... I heard a sound. Someone's in there. I heard nothing. Of course there's someone in there. The whole Philistine army. Just as you suspect, I am doing all this to destroy you. I never said that. But that's what you think, isn't it? Dear Samson, make up your mind. Either you trust me, or you leave in the morning. Everything quiet? Except for the wind, sir. It's beginning to blow. Captain. Perhaps you should wait. I'll need all the time I can get. Have you seen the priest this morning? No, sir. Shall I investigate? No, let him be. The boy 
will kill himself. The Lord is with you. What was that? Didn't notice anything, sir. It's like a shadow. Probably just a bird. Uh-oh. Looks like trouble. The wing's torn. Hang in there, fella. We're coming in for a crash landing. Yow! That's hanging in there. Well, here goes. What? Well, nothing's broken. Now all I've got to do is find Samson. Well, this was kind of a nice day, wasn't it? The boat was great. And Samson and Delilah are getting along for a change. You know, she seemed really happy. She sure did. I wonder if that's a good sign or bad. Remember, you promised to tell me, and no more lies. All right, all right. I'm so weary of the whole matter. You see, I was born a Nazarite, and a promise was made to God. Yes, yes, the promise. Uh, I'll tell you tomorrow. No, tell me now, Samson, now. The promise, Samson. What was it? My hair. What about your hair? That no razor would ever... Yes? Yes, would ever what? Would ever cut it off. If your hair was cut off, you'd lose your strength? What? It's awful late. Guess I'll... Look! There's Derek! <whistles> what are you doing? Is Samson here? Let me in, quickly! Hurry, hurry, and don't wake him. Where is he? In there. B but he's with Delilah. I don't think you should... Samson, awake! The Philistines! Oh, we're too late! Come on! Ah, where are they? Assassins! Prepare to die! Cowards! There's nothing to fear. Delilah. <laughs> oh, no! Delilah, you have betrayed me! He has lost his strength! He's as weak as a lamb. We better get out of here. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing anyone can do. <laughs> I'm glad your travels have brought you this way again. I'm returning the ring you gave me. Whatever happened to Samson? You don't know? The Philistines blinded him and chained him to a millstone. All of this because he broke his vow. But he was so strong, no chain could ever hold him. Let's just hope and pray that his strength will one day return. Move it, Samson! Who said to stop? Unchain the miserable wretch! We're taking him to the temple! They want a good laugh over what happened to the mighty Samson! <laughs> Give me strength just once more, that I may avenge the Philistines for what they have done.
Thus perished Samson, and with him more of his enemy than he had slain in his lifetime. And then his brothers and his father's whole family went down to get him. They brought him back and buried him between Zora and Eshtol in the tomb of Manoah, his father. He had led Israel for 20 years. like the one you have just seen are waiting for you in more exciting stories from the Bible. Join your three young friends again on their journey through time. Share their wonder and excitement in the other adventures in Hanna-Barbera's series, The Greatest Adventure, Stories from the Bible. Meet real heroes, David and Goliath. What is this? You come to fight Goliath? Ah! I am a soldier of the Lord. Joshua and the Battle of Jericho. <laughs> Samson and Delilah. Noah and the Ark. Daniel and the Lion's Den. Don't miss the power and excitement of the other great Bible stories in Hanna-Barbera's The Greatest Adventure, Stories from the Bible.